morning session of stand-up paddleboard fishing. I'll be launching at um, Bobbin Head. The last quick session um, picked up the nice tailor. Starting to rain. See what happens. Hopefully it stops raining. We have arrived. watch keeps on buzzing me and I'm getting confused whether it's a pep on the rod here because that's how sensitive this is at the moment sitting on my standard paddleboard I've got my soft plastic just drifting um, and it's attached to the S key which I've made it into seat with the rod holder so I can kind of sense everything I'm bare feet very light gear and this watch is bugging me keeps on vibrating oh, I think I have a tiny fish on <laughs> how is that? we grow up to be a much bigger fish this is not as tiny as last one but having said that there Probably only like 10 centimeters or something. <laughs> nice step, huh? That's probably the only fish that I haven't caught. A monster snapper, like 70 centimeters with a bent head. That's my bucket list. See, even that 15 centimeter snapper moved my standard paddleboard around. You've watched some of my older videos on my hobby kayak. This is the exact spot that I caught the 75 centimeter tube fish. Just slow trolling like this, a, a white soft plastic around that big. And this is also the same spot. On this paddleboard, I hooked up, I think it was a gummy shark or blue whaler. Uh, it was more than a meter long and I was fighting I was having lots of fun I brought it in very close to my stand-up paddleboard then I realized hey this shark is quite big it's got teeth right next to my inflatable stand-up paddleboard that's when I had to just cut the line but that shark had enough grunt in it to actually tow me on the standard paddleboard as if I was wakeboarding. I didn't realize that when I was fighting but um, when I was watching the GoPro footage that's when I realized how fast I was moving. It was heaps of fun. Try to do some trolling. Put some squid on with something dangling so it looks like a fish. Oh, on to something decent. Nice bream.
Got out of that pretty well. Oh, nice bream. Look at that, that's a good size. Shallow sandbank fishing. Eh? Look at that. It delivers. The trick with um, standard paddleboard paddling is as you go down, twist. So you're kind of pushing the rear of the standard paddleboard this way. Then you don't have to flop around so much because it will keep you straight. If you just go forward straight like that, then you have to turn yourself around onto the other side quite often. But as you pedal to finish it with outer movement, then it will keep your standard pedalboard straight for longer less change and alternating left and right. There's a tip for you. So I'm just trolling on the way back in. Um, spent how long was I out? Out oh, yeah. here. I think I launched maybe around seven. So it's 9.30 at the moment. So two hours and a bit. Then the pedal boat fishing. I like my boat fishing, but um, stand up pedal boat fishing out in your own. The serenity. Look how peaceful this is. Nice and relaxing. You're getting your exercise. And while you're paddling, chuck some lures or soft plastic, a strip of um, squid. And always remember, it's not worth it taking undersized fish. Let them go, live another day. Other than the fines and whatnot, why would you obey the law and only take what you want to eat? It's the fishing down here. Oh, it's not too bad. Yeah, it's more of an exercise. Yeah. <laughs> While I'm paddling, just throw a lure out and yeah. try your luck. I did hook up a few brims, a few nice brims. Yeah, they take the lures, do they? Yeah, on the shallows, oh, okay. along the edges, yeah. Oh, it's a blast. Yeah, it is. Yeah. <laughs> Does it take long to inflate? Uh, I've got electric pump, so yeah. while I'm getting my gear ready, I just hook it up and yeah. by the time you're ready, this is ready.